What up, YouTube? The Sateso Israel. Um, I probably gonna drop like at least a few more songs and just call it a rap, man. The world's ending. Um, just something to keep real, keep in your prayers that this song touches a lot of people. Um, I hope that we, a lot of us, wake up out of stupidity because evil is present here in the U.S. We got to do better, man. Uh, if your life is spared after this outbreak, you should have a total life change, a whole 360. You have been spared. You have been given mercy that doesn't deserve to you, that don't belong to you. But I'm going to just cut this short. Um, but yeah, man. A lot of us out here are foolish. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us say there isn't a God. Well, after you leave this this place here, your second death, man, it's, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be real. It's going to get real and there ain't nothing you got to say to defend yourself. God is cleaning this planet and he has to clean it with pestilence, clean it with fire, clean it with his vengeance. And if you ain't on the right side, it's bad. It is completely bad for you. We all make mistakes. We all have filthy thoughts in our heads. Our eyes linger. People don't dress right at all. These women still wearing pants, yoga pants, still looking promiscuous and, and all that. Men still shaving their beards. People still eating any and everything they want to eat. You know, take this as a game. Take the very few minutes, seconds, and hours and days as a game and watch your life get jacked out of nowhere. No matter if you've been raising your kids, paying all your bills and all that, that don't mean nothing. It's all between you and the most high. Because a lot of us ain't raising our kids. But yet we're still trying to do the right thing and strive to do to do what God wants us to do. It's to a point now that even if your kids is far away and you, you done planted your seed in some horrible soil. And now your seeds don't like you. There ain't really nothing you can do about that. The only thing you can do is keep it moving and praying and, and and these very few minutes that are given to you in this life and do what God wants you to do, man. Your children are going to be judged. Your parents are going to be judged. You're going to be judged. Nobody is escaping judgment. And I hope to God that my children made the right decision. You know what I'm saying? Because that's up between them and God. There ain't nothing I can do. So, the only thing I can do is work, work this job, do my best to stay safe, keep my connection with God as strong as possible. Um, that's it. And then um, prepare for the afterlife. Prepare for the afterlife after this because every single being and soul on this planet got an afterlife 
And the man upstairs, he's going to determine where you're going to go based on the actions that you have chose in your present time. But I hope, you know what I'm saying, once I get in the studio, man, if I get into the studio that I don't have no writer's block, I flow pretty good, I make sense, I have substance of what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, I hope not a whole lot of air comes out of my mouth. I hope that some real stuff, some of the realest stuff that I ain't think that can come out of my mouth can get into these beats. Hopefully I touch somebody. Hopefully somebody wakes the hell up. Hopefully somebody gets tired of doing the dumb shit that they're doing and just pull over and pray and ask God for forgiveness while they're still here. Because many, many people are dying due to this coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? If you are waking up every morning, no headaches, no shortness of breath, your chest ain't hurting, any symptoms that you got, you need to praise and rejoice in God to have a time to get it right. Women, wake up. Men, wake up. Children, wake up. Infants, dying. It is getting real out here in these streets. Y'all should know that. Y'all watching news. Y'all seeing bodies being put in freezers. You got people working these jobs. You know what I'm saying? Surrounded by all the negative elements. The people who are above you, who's doing better than you, don't give a damn. They want their money. They try to get all they can get, but it will end. They cannot take their millions and billions of dollars with them to the grave. Once you're dead, you are dead, my friend. You can't take your music with you. You can't take the game, the TV. You can't even take... The, the rent money that you pay to rest your head to the grave with you. Once you are done, you are done. No more college loans, no more child support. It is over. Now it's between you and the almighty God. And, you know, my life ain't perfect. I got a lot of skeletons in my closet. I got, I, I, I've done a lot of things I ain't proud of. You know what I'm saying? I've created children that I can't even see anymore. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. From here on out, man, just between me and God and, and hopefully he don't say depart from me. I never knew you. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully the fear of God will snap you out of sticking your penis in these females eating this bullshit that you put in your body, smoking all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Making decisions that is not making God happy with you. It's making your judgment even stronger. You're just building the snowball just to make a very crazy death. You know what I'm saying? The wages of sin is death, man. Every time we look at these nasty dressed females and, and fantasize of wanting to have sex with them and all that, man, we are building a snowball of sin that's going to get us killed. And we think this life is a game. We keep on playing games, man. It's going to be game over. People say you can't be perfect. Well, you actually can. In the standard of God's standards, you can be perfect. In the world standard, they don't know what perfect is. This is a very docile, stupid place that we live in, that we dwell in. Our leaders that's in this country is not wise. They got all this technology talking about and bragging about we can we can um see through your house 
and, and catch you in your act, but they cannot detect the coronavirus and who has made it in the lab. That That's wiping out millions of people. But yet, you can have technology that can listen to your phone calls and, and hear everything you're saying. That don't make no sense to me. You people are recording the wrong shit, but it is what it is, man. But people, wake up. All the bullshit that we are doing is creating a scary, scary death for us at the end of this life. Think about that. When you thought you got away and you thought you had made it, you in the cut of breathing like, man, I done smashed 12 bitches this week. I'm the man. Boy. This death is not going to play with us. And I think about that all the time. And all the wicked shit that I have done, especially the, the stuff that I put on this YouTube channel, I can severely pay for that. Even though I'm not a billionaire, I'm just a dude working an average job. You know what I'm saying? The influence that I put on this content could lead somebody astray, man, and cause them to be very, very confused. And I have to pay for that. So I am very grateful that there's not a whole people that likes me here on this planet. That there's not a whole lot of women throwing themselves at me. Because I am not trying to go there. I don't need no more trouble than what I already have. So thank God I don't have temptation of, of wanting to uh, have millions of women in my phone and, and call them and sleep with them and all that. I don't got that to deal with. I already got enough hell that, that, I, that I've created for myself. And I wish a lot of people had that mentality that, man, I done built a lot of sin that can get me wiped out at any second. People are collapsing on the ground, dead, perishing. It's getting real out in these streets, man. We need to wake up. Death is nothing to play with. Especially after this life, man. You don't know what's going to happen. A lot of people feel like they do, but go right ahead. Think that way. But uh, I'm about to end this video. Much love to y'all. Hopefully I said something that gets y'all to think. Think about the choices and the decisions that you are making and the thoughts that are in your head. Your thoughts in your head and the way that you feel towards individuals, you're going to have to pay for that, man. All right, peace.